Hey, what's up guys? Joseph Williams here at Jaws Fitness. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about beta alanine and how that can benefit you in your workouts. Look, there's a cat right there. All the pain. Hey guys, Joseph Williams here at Jaws Fitness, exercise physiologist, online personal trainer, uh, nerd. I don't know how else to describe myself. <laughs> um, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the follow-up that, that was stupid. Today we're going to be following up with my last video that we talked about lactate and lactic acid and uh, a little bit about that burning sensation that you feel during your workouts. So we're going to get a little chemistry and a little nerdy with this one. So if I go over your head, I'm really sorry. I want to try to keep it as simple as possible. We've all heard of pH, uh, balancing the pH. You know, you can either have a really acidic pH or a really basic pH or non-acidic pH. Now, the, the reason this is important to know is because your body likes to be in homeostasis. It doesn't like to fluctuate too high up and too far down. Granted, there are areas of your body that do have a relatively low pH, uh, your stomach, your uh, duodenum, different parts of your digestive system have relatively low pH. But as far as your blood goes and as far as your muscles go, they're relatively um, in the middle. Let's just call it that. Now, your body naturally uses something that called a buffer <laughs> to make sure that stays in balance. The definition of a buffer, now this is gonna be super, um, a super conservative definition and it right 99% of the time. Uh, a buffer is something that resists the change in pH. So when we talk about um, changing in the pH, I, I mentioned in the last video that hydrogen is very acidic. When we are exercising, we don't want that hydrogen to build up too much because it's very acidic. That's what causes the burning sensation as I previously mentioned. So our body takes care of this burning sensation through three ways. The phosphate buffering system, the bicarbonate buffering system, and the carnosine buffering system. Now, your body naturally makes carnosine to help with this process of the, the hydrogen and making sure the pH is in balance. However, studies have shown that if you consume beta alanine prior to exercise or throughout your day at some point or other basically what this is going to do it's going to increase your muscle carnosine and the reason that that's important to increase your muscle carnosine is because it's not going to allow that h to be as effective that hydrogen to be as effective to cause that burning sensation in your muscles you're going to decrease the hydrogen there in your body but you're also going to increase the time that you can actually exercise by limiting that burning sensation by basic making your uh, your blood a little more basic and less acidic what's going to happen is is you're going to be able to go longer stronger harder because you're not going to fatigue and this is especially important for your anaerobic threshold anaerobic system lasts anywhere below 30 seconds. So that was super nerdy, and I'm sorry if that went over your head. So let's go ahead and, and break it down one last time. Your body doesn't like to be acidic. Working out for long, hard periods of time makes your body more acidic by producing more hydrogen. Beta alanine helps stop that hydrogen from making your body more acidic and helps you continue on in your exercise without fatiguing too fast. Hope that cleared things up. Hope that was able to convey the message as much as possible. Uh, now, as far as how much beta alanine you should be taking, it depends, as most things do in the realm of exercise and fitness. With that being said, most studies suggest somewhere between two and three grams of beta alanine is an effective dose. Me personally, I like to stick around three grams of beta alanine when I work out. 
I just, I, you get the tingles when you take it because it is, it is uh, eliminating a lot of the acid in your body, uh, or at least neutralizing it, I guess I should say. So you'll get this tingly feeling all over you. It feels really weird. Some people don't like it. They feel like their skin is crawling. Me personally, I'm a weirdo. I kind of like that feeling. But anywhere from two to three grams, or I'm sorry, yeah, two to three grams, is an effective dose. You can take it as low as one gram just to kind of get your body used to it. Most pre-workouts have this already included. You can actually buy beta alanine by itself if that's something that you wanted to do. The reason I tell you this guys is so that way you can be a little more educated when buying supplements. So that way you know when something works. Beta alanine, it works. It helps you resist fatigue. So it's not something that's garbage. So whenever you're buying your pre-workout, if it doesn't have beta alanine in it, why? Why invest in it? All right, guys, I hope that clears things up uh, with the acidity in your body, with helping reduce fatigue, and with the supplementation of beta alanine. Now, if you have any questions, obviously, please feel free to comment down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. For those of you that are already subscribed, share the video if you want to with your friends, and be sure to like it if you liked it. Uh, don't forget, there is a free ebook for those of you that are new to fitness. You can request down below. All you have to do is click the link, type in your email. It's yours. I'm not going to spam you, I promise. Uh, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.